why Minecraft Console Edition was perfect. Today, I want to talk about how modern Minecraft fails to capture unforgettable memories and moments, and how Console Edition not only excels over big servers today, but how it completely transformed Minecraft forever. Minecraft Console Edition, or Legacy Edition, is Minecraft, but for console players. This included platforms like Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, Wii, and so on and so forth. It all starts with Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. Announced by 4J Studios of Mojang, the game was released to the world on May 9, 2012. It was so big of a launch that it broke all sales records in the first 24 hours of other previous titles for Xbox Live. A few months later, PlayStation would receive the same treatment, with PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 editions of Minecraft releasing on December 17, 2013. I was a part of the PS3 console group, and seeing it finally arrive to PlayStation was a happiness so big that I think we can all agree we felt when picking up the game for the first time. Myself at the time was no stranger to Minecraft, however. I was playing a faction server called Enchanted PvP and MCSG, with my friend on Java Edition when we would go to each other's houses to play. But Minecraft Console Edition, on the other hand, was a breath of fresh air, a new start, something I could genuinely play for hours and hours on end. Playing Minecraft Console Edition wiped the floor with my PC only being able to reach 10 to 15 FPS for Minecraft Java back in the day. I was in awe and truly fell in love with the game ever since. Not only was Minecraft great on both Xbox and PlayStation, but a lot of people were starting to play it as well. During the hype of Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 2, if you weren't playing those games, you were playing Minecraft. I think the best part about Minecraft Console Edition and something we all remember is the tutorial world and the game's simplicity overall. I say this because kids on Christmas Day would be getting their first Xbox 360s or PS3s equipped with Minecraft and playing the tutorial world for the first time. Wait a to finally play Minecraft on consoles, this was only just the beginning of what Minecraft Console Edition truly had in store. Minecraft Console Edition also supported multiplayer, which in my opinion is probably the best thing about Console Edition to this day. You could have eight of your friends playing all at the same time with voice chat in a single world. This made Minecraft Console Edition easily one of the greatest moments for not just Minecraft, but for a lot of our gaming memories made with friends, even friends of friends who joined through the game menu as well. Whether you were starting a survival world, building a huge city on a super flat, constructing fun games for you and your friends, or fighting the Ender Dragon on creative, Console Edition is in my opinion opinion way better in some aspects than what we have for Minecraft Bedrock Edition and even big Java servers today. On console edition of Minecraft, sending invites to friends was quick and seamless, meeting new people through the Friends of Friends feature was a great way to get new players into your worlds, and with integrated voice chat, making talking with friends a hassle-free experience. But unlike console edition, the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft, which has replaced console edition, has made inviting and joining friends a complete nightmare. Having to log into a Microsoft account that half of the time doesn't even work, Invites from friends almost never come through, and inviting your friends to your world seem near impossible. At the end of the day, Console Edition did it right, which in time created its own legendary community full of players who loved the game. Console Edition didn't just invent Minecraft in a new way, it built a completely new community, most notably being Stampy Longhead, regarded as the face of Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition. Minecraft Console Edition skyrocketed in its popularity from Stampy's Lovely World and other popular Console Edition creators creators, like iBallistic Squid, Only One Gamer, True Triz, Xbox Addictions, and so many more. As time went on, fully-fledged Minecraft communities in both Xbox and PlayStation were seen everywhere, building huge communities of players trying to find more people to play with or start a big project of their own. Most of my time spent on Console Edition was making and creating minigames for me and my friends to play. Eventually, everyone else started to build games and maps of their own. I was even privileged enough to build on the largest adventure map on Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition, known as 
seven hearts. Map making got so big that the modded community as well were seen everywhere on YouTube and in Minecraft as well. I'm looking at you, modded kit PvP number 167,000. And at the end of the day, looking back all these years, that's what made console edition so special. But why was it perfect in every way? It had everything. Everything to make an unforgettable and truly beautiful experience with not only the game, but with friends as well. The joining system being easily accessible, voice chat for easy interaction, smooth gameplay, and an ever-expanding community that had a passion to create something new. Minecraft Console Edition also received its updates from Java Edition's updates, making Console Edition feel even more like Java Minecraft as time continued. And in 2016, a whole new category of minigames to play were introduced, such as Battle Mode, Tumble, and Glide with ton of great maps as well. Even if it only got three total games, I truly wish it got expanded upon more with new games to play and to see its true potential. Because back then, Console Edition never had servers you can join. We had to create our own. And when minigames were introduced to Console Edition, the community went wild. Minecraft Console Edition was something truly special to be a part of. It truly was. No other game has ever created these moments. Wait, Frankie, what happened? Oh my god! Which is why, I think anyway, that no game can replicate Legacy Edition the way it did, and how modern Minecraft fails to capture these unforgettable moments. On September 20th, 2017, the Better Together update was released to Xbox One, iOS, Android, and Windows 10. This effectively closed the doors in Console Edition and started what we know today as Minecraft Bedrock Edition. The Better Together update would bring cross-platform capabilities and servers to Console Edition games of Minecraft, which was never seen before. However, PlayStation versions of Console Edition would be left out of this update until December 20th, 2019. This was practically doomsday for me hosting servers, and anyone who played PlayStation, I just never realized it, and neither did anyone else. Under these new changes for Minecraft Console Edition and being switched over to Bedrock Edition, you could say that this would only strengthen Console Edition players further, with cross-platforming with other players and the ability to finally have servers to play on. I'm here to tell you that it was all a lie. After switching from Console Edition to Bedrock Edition, everything was wrong. The controls, the graphics, the movement, everything was just completely and horribly wrong. During this time in 2019, I had my first PC that could reliably run Java Minecraft above 10 to 15 FPS. However, I still loved and adored the Console Edition side of the game that I kept playing it. Even if I could just play Java Edition, it's why I love Minecraft to this day. It's because of the Console Edition versions of the game. I was optimistic for the future of Console Edition with Bedrock, being able to make my prison world into a server or a realm world only to increase its popularity. Because at the time, it was called one of the best prison servers on Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. I was super excited, but I think a lot of us know what happened. Bedrock Edition failed. It was to the point that it was unplayable, and the funny thing about all of this is that the Legacy Edition of Minecraft ran smoother. Bedrock Edition is what effectively killed Minecraft Console Edition in the worst way possible. What was seen as an optimistic bright switch to this new version would only lead down a dark and desolate path for Legacy Edition players, with either despising the game of its new gameplay changes or outright quit because of it. Modern Minecraft today just doesn't capture the Legacy Edition feeling of bonding and experience. Sure, you can still make friends easily on Minecraft servers like Hypixel, add each other to Discord, and get in a call together to voice chat. But to be honest, even simplicity goes a very long way. From just joining a world and instantly jump into talking with friends, no strings attached, no Discord, nothing but you and your friends. It's simple. Hello, this is Stubby, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play. Okay, so it finally had the Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition is released. Oh, what? Uh -huh. <laughs> I am Carnage. <laughs> <laughs> so, where is Console Edition now? If you have your old Xbox or PlayStation kicking around, within Minecraft Bedrock's menu, an Editions menu will be at the bottom of the screen, if you've played the Console Edition before. Or, if you have the disc version of Minecraft Console, you can still enjoy Minecraft Console Edition to this day. 
It isn't truly gone forever, it just doesn't receive updates anymore. If you want to relive the glory days or even play the tutorial world for memories, it's all waiting for you. Which in my opinion is something that's very nice to have modern day. For someone who plays Destiny 2, a lot of the older content has been sunsetted and can't be played anymore, which is a term of removing something from the game completely. Having the ability to go back and play something that was a part of your childhood or gaming memories is such a nostalgic joyride. Being able to play again and maybe, just maybe seeing your first ever worlds you built is something that I think all of us can appreciate. What about the mini games for console edition? If you have Xbox Live or PlayStation Plus for online access, you can indeed still play them as well. I came across a lobby of eight people playing at once. I was super surprised. Even your own worlds, if you ever wanted to play with a couple of friends on the legacy edition of the game, you can. Even on PS5, I believe can play with someone who has a world on PS4. It's pretty cool. Before I end off this video, I just have one question for you all. What was the most memorable moment on console edition for you? For me, it was creating and hosting my Hunger Games servers on PS3 Minecraft. One of the first maps I built ended up being Fallen Kingdom themed as well. And to this day, a lot of people remember that map. If you can leave your answers in the comments below, I would really like to know your answers. To conclude the video, console edition is just perfect in every way. From the gameplay, to the movement, to joining friends, and a community built on friendship. And that is why Minecraft Console Edition was perfect in every way possible.